Today we're going to solve some related rate problems. These problems are taken from OpenStax Open Textbook Calculus Volume 1, Section 4.1 Exercises, but they are slightly modified. If you want to check out this uh, Open Textbook, so the link is given in the description below. Let's get started. First problem, a 10-foot ladder is leaning against a wall. If the top of the ladder slides down the wall at a rate of 1.5 feet per second, how fast is the bottom moving away from the wall when the bottom of the ladder is 6 feet from the wall? The first thing that we should do here is to draw a picture of the problem. So here we have a 10 foot ladder leaning against a wall and to determine the quantities that depend on time okay so in this case for example this uh, distance here okay which we denote by x uh, changes as time passes so we need to represent that as a variable and also the distance of the top of the ladder from the ground it's also changing as time passes. So we need to represent these two as a variable. And both variables, x and y, are functions of time. And next, you have to determine all the known information and the one that you're looking for. So in this case, the known information, it tells you that the top of the ladder slides down the wall at a rate of 1.5 feet per second. So therefore, this change of this variable y with respect to t is equal to negative 1.5 feet per second. Now, why is it negative? Now, derivative is negative means that y is decreasing as t changes as t increases and we know that as time passes since the ladder is sliding down the wall so the value of y is decreasing so it makes sense that the derivative must be negative in this case so take note if your variable increases as time passes then its rate of change must be positive if the variable is decreasing as time passes then its rate of change must be negative next is we set up an equation that relates our variables x and y so here we have a right triangle so our equation will be the square of x plus the square of y equal to the square of the hypotenuse which is equal to 100. now these x and y are functions of t so now we differentiate both sides with respect to time and we'll get here 2x times derivative of x with respect to t so that is chain rule and then plus derivative of y squared with respect to t is bring down the power subtract 1 from the power times the derivative of the base with respect to t and here we solve for d, dx over dt and we'll get derivative of x with respect to t is equal to negative y over x dx uh, dy over dt now what are we looking for we're looking for the value of this derivative when x is equal to 6 so now at this given instant we know already the value of x we know already the value of dy over dt so the only unknown quantity is the value of y but if you have this right triangle if you know the value of x then you can solve the value of y by pythagorean formula so in this case we know that when x is equal to 6 your y is equal to 8 that is uh, y is equal to square root of 10 squared minus x squared so that will be square root of 100 minus 36 which is equal to square root of 64 so that will give you y equal to 8 so now using this uh, related rates okay so when x is equal to 6 our dx over dt is just equal to negative of y over x times the dy over dt 
which is equal to negative 1.5 which is same thing as negative 3 halves and this can be simplified this is 24 over 12 so that is equal to 2 and the unit is of course the unit of x which is uh, in feet and then the unit of time which is in seconds therefore at the given instant that is when the bottom of the ladder is six feet from the wall the bottom is moving at a rate of two feet per second now let us consider this problem which is related to the previous one but here we are interested on the rate of change of this angle instead of the rate of change of this distance x so here we want to find how fast is the angle between the bottom of the ladder and the ground decreasing when the bottom of the ladder is six feet from the wall so here what are the known and unknown quantities so of course known quantity is the same as in the previous problem so dy dt is equal to negative 1.5 feet per second and we're looking for derivative of theta with respect to t when x is equal to 6. actually we're looking for speed here that is how fast so we're actually looking for the absolute value of this expression of course if we can find this rate of change afterwards we can just take the absolute value and that will be the answer to this question it is very important to write down the known and unknown quantities before you set up your equation because this will give you an idea on what equation should you set up so in this case you have here derivative of y with respect to t and you're looking for derivative of the angle theta with respect to t so it is better that your equation only involves these two variables y and theta and in this case so if we want to obtain an equation that involves only this angle theta and angle y so using this constant hypotenuse which is equal to 10 we can use sine theta which is equal to opposite over hypotenuse so that is equal to 10. so this is the equation that relates these uh, two variables here y and uh, theta and again they are functions of t so both change as t changes so now when we differentiate both sides with respect to t we get the related rates so in this case the derivative of sine theta with respect to t so again chain rule will get cosine of theta times derivative of theta with respect to t now the right hand side is just 1 over 10 times y so its derivative with respect to t will be the constant 1 over 10 times the derivative of y with respect to t and then dividing both sides by uh, theta, uh, cosine theta will get this expression so it is clear that we can find the value of the derivative of theta with respect to t if we know the value of cosine theta because we know already the derivative of y with respect to t which is equal to negative 1.5 but how do we find cosine theta so we have here the right triangle so cosine theta is just the length of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse which is equal to 10 so therefore when x is equal to 6 feet cosine theta is just equal to the adjacent which is equal to 6 divided by the hypotenuse which is equal to 10 so that is equal to to 3 over 5 therefore the derivative of theta with respect to t at this given instant is just 1 over 10 times uh, 3 over 5 times the derivative of y with respect to t negative 1.5 or negative uh, 3 halves and of course we cancel the 3 here and 10 over 5 is just equal to 2 so 10 over 5 is 2 times 2 you'll get 4 so therefore our final answer is that at the given instant when x is equal to 6 the angle between the ladder and the ground is decreasing so the negative sign means decreasing at a rate of 1 over 4 of course the unit of uh, theta here is region and the unit of time is in seconds next problem so here we have two airplanes flying at the same height 
airplane A is flying east at 300 miles per hour and airplane B is flying north at 350 miles per hour. If they are both heading to the same airport located 45 miles east of plane A and 60 miles of plane B, at what rate is the distance between the planes changing? Again, the first step is to draw a picture of the problem. So here, let's say that x miles is the distance of uh, plane A from the airport, and then y miles is the distance of plane B from the airport, and z miles is the distance between plane A and plane B. So what is the given information? So we know that derivative of x with respect back to t is equal to negative 300 miles per hour. What is the reason? Why is it negative? Because as time passes, the value of x decreases. So this derivative must be negative. Also, since the airplane B is flying north at 350 miles per hour, so the change in y, rate of change of y with respect to t is equal to negative 350 miles per hour. Again, it is negative because as time passes, the value of y decreases. And what are we looking for? We're looking for the rate at which the distance okay, between the planes is changing. So that is the derivative of z with respect to t when x is equal to 45 and y is equal to 60. That is the instant when plane A is 45 miles from the airport and plane B is 65, uh, 60 miles from the airport. So now we set up our equation. So the equation that relates our variables x, y, and z is again given by the Pythagorean formula. So you have z squared equal to x squared plus y squared. And all these variables are functions of time. So now we differentiate both sides with respect to t and we'll get 2z times the derivative of z with respect to t equal to 2x derivative of x with respect to t plus 2y derivative of y with respect to t. And dividing both sides by 2z, we'll get dz dt equal to this expression. So now, at the given instant, when x is equal to 45 and y equal to 60, z, using Pythagorean formula again, will get z equal to the square root of 45 squared plus 60 squared. And that is equal to 75. So now we already have all the things that we need to find the derivative of z with respect to t. So therefore, the derivative of z with respect to t at this given instant is just, again, x over z times dx over dt, which is negative 300, plus y over z times the derivative of y with respect to t. And this is just equal to 3 over 5 times negative 300, which is negative 180, and 4 over 5 times negative 350, which is equal to negative 280. So that is equal to negative 460, and the unit is miles per hour. So therefore, at the given instant, the distance between the planes is changing at a rate of negative 460 miles per hour. Again, the negative here means the distance between the planes is decreasing at a rate of 460 miles per hour. Moving to our last problem, a six foot tall person walks away from a 10-foot lamppost at a constant rate of 4 feet per second. How fast is the tip of the shadow moving away from the person when the person is 8 feet away from the lamppost? Okay, let's draw a picture of the problem. So here we have the 10-foot lamppost and the 6-foot tall person walking away from this lamppost. So let's represent the distance of this person from the lamppost as x 
and y is the length of the person's shadow. So it's given that the derivative of x with respect to t is equal to 4 feet per second because the person walks away at this rate. And now what we're looking for is what? How fast is the tip of the shadow moving away from the person? when the person is 8 feet away from the lamppost. So we're actually looking for the rate of change of this y here. Okay? With respect to t, when x is equal to 8 feet. So now let's uh, set up our equation. So we have here using similar triangles. So as you can see here we have this larger right triangle and this smaller right triangle and these two triangles are similar and what is a characteristic of similar triangles ratio of corresponding sides are congruent so therefore we have y over 6 is equal to x plus y over 10 so we'll get this equation and of course, we can cross multiply, we'll get 10y equal to 6x plus 6y. And we can write this down as 4y equal to 6x. Now, we differentiate both sides with respect to t. And we'll get 4 dy dt equal to 6 derivative of x with respect to t. So we know already the value of dx dt. So dy dt is equal to 3 halves times 4. So the derivative of y with respect to t is actually constant. So whatever the value of x is, the derivative of y with respect to t is always equal to 6 feet per second. So therefore, at the given instant, the tip of the shadow is moving away from the person at a rate of 6 feet per second. So what if we change this problem a little bit? Instead of from the person, let's change it to from the lamppost. So let's say we want to find how fast the tip of the shadow is moving away from the lamppost when the person is 8 feet away from the lamppost. What do you think will be the speed of the tip of the shadow at this uh, given instant? So in this case, since this is from the lamppost, so the rate of change of the tip of the shadow is just the rate of change of this sum. Okay, sum of x plus y with respect to t. So therefore, the answer to this question, if we change this to lamppost, will be at the given instant, the tip of the shadow is moving away from the lamppost at a rate of the rate of change of x, which is 4 feet per second, plus the rate of change of y with respect to t, which is equal to 6 feet per second. So the answer will be 10 feet per second.